Well, did you all guess what it was? It's a Christmas pudding. Actually, he's older than Elf on the Shelf. He, I think you would win him like at a carnival or something, like a little cupie. Isn't he the cuteness? But anyway, he is stuffed with sawdust. And once upon a time, I accidentally got water on him. And the more I tried to wash it off, the worse it got. Because you can't really clean sawdust. It's just perpetually dirty. So I need to make him some little booties so that that doesn't show so bad oh well but he's got his little friends my melody and hello kitty itty bitties from hallmark last year <laughs> kitty stand up you stinker okay anyway okay random sorry here's my pudding okay so i ended up making the holly um with fingering weight wool that I had left over instead. This is um, the Nitpick Serrano, which I made my Scotty Dog sweater out of. Oh, Scotty Dog sweater. Remember it? I don't have makeup on yet, so we're going to try not to get the face. Okay. So, oops. I keep getting my finger in the camera. Man, I'm not very good at this, am I? So I just have to set it somewhere instead of holding it. But anyway... I used, I will actually write up a blog post for this in a bit. I know it'll be too late for any of you probably to make it for Christmas. But, um, I used, actually, ooh, you can see the stuffing through. Oh, well. I should have used a smaller needle, I guess. Um, you, I used Sandra Cherry Hearts, um, Circular Cushion Tutorial. So I did the bottom one in brown, the top one in off-white. I think off-white's a little gentler than, like, white-white. Probably can't really tell the difference, but this one's white-white. But anyway, in person it looks even more like icing, like more natural looking. And then um, I joined with white, and I held them this way. So this is actually the little dripping icing is actually the back side of um, the scallop. I put the scallop on this way because I noticed on my cushions I make, see, they normally have it standing out thus, and it always ends up going, and I was like, you know what? That looks like drippy icing. I can make a Christmas pudding cushion. So I did. And yeah. So this is just six um, double crochets, trebles for Brits, into one stitch, skip two stitches, single crochet or double for you Brits, into the third stitch, skip two stitches, six doubles or trebles in one stitch, and so on and so forth, all the way around. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. Isn't it cute? And then I just stuffed it with um, polyfill. I'm not a very good pillow stuffer, I guess. So it's very um, lumpy, but that's okay. That kind of adds to the charm, right? So, yeah, I ended up using fingering weight for the holly berries, holly and berries, just so that it would be more to scale, because otherwise there would have been big old honking ones on there. Oh, and the tutorial I used for the holly leaves was um, from Attic24, Lucy. Um, I will put a link to that in the blog post that I eventually write about this. And then the holly berries, I just kind of made up. What I did was, um, hang on, let me show you. Okay, here is a granny blankie that I made once, and um, it's got the little bobble on the edge. What I did was I made a bobble but it's tiny, see, because it's in fingering yarn. And then where one ended, I just started making another one. And then a third one until there were three grouped together like that. And then I just...
just sewed them on. But yeah, so that was easy. Um, I can put the link to the tutorial I used for these and then explain in better detail what I did. Shoot, sorry. Ah! What I did for this. So, long story short.